So today we are making the famous Gigi Hadid pasta. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a delicious spicy vodka pasta that's gone viral on like every social media platform because Gigi shared her recipe for it on her stories and now everyone has been recreating it. So I thought I would try it myself and I can confirm that it is incredible but it is full of loads of parmesan cheese, heavy cream and oil. So I thought that I would share with you today a vegan version that I've tried a couple of times now and it is so delicious and such a hit with my family and friends and it is just as good as the original. So if you're as excited as I am, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more healthy recipes like this that are also super delicious. So let's get into the recipe. So for this recipe, you are only going to need a couple of ingredients. So the first one is, of course, pasta. Now I'm doing the exact same pasta that Gigi used, which is this shell pasta. It's in like a really cute seashell shape, but you can obviously use whatever pasta you like. You can even use like one of those zero calorie cognac vegetable pastas, which have no carbs. That would be really nice as well. And then you'll obviously need some tomato paste because this is a red pasta sauce. You'll need a quarter of an onion. So this pasta actually is a serving for two people. So double it if you need to. And then I'm using two cloves of garlic and then make sure you chop up both the garlic and the onion. A teaspoon of chili flakes. This will give it a really nice kick, but you can obviously omit that if you don't like spicy. And then some really good quality olive oil. So I am using using this ultra premium extra virgin olive oil. You can use coconut oil if you like, but olive definitely has the best Italian flavor. Some salt and pepper. I recently started using like really high quality expensive sea salt and this is from the Malden brand and I can tell you makes such a difference to all your savory recipes. Like I put this on everything. <laughs> And instead of heavy cream, we are going to use coconut cream instead. So you can also use coconut milk. You just need to make sure that it's a really high quality can. So make sure that the only ingredient is coconut and water. So this one has 85% organic coconut extract. So you know that this is a really high percentage of coconut and there's only 15% of water because a lot of other coconut milk and coconut cream brands can have like a diluted version and have lots of additives like cornstarch and things like that. So you just want pure coconut cream. It's really easily available in the supermarket, but if you don't have coconut cream, you can also use cashew cream or nutritional yeast or also soy milk mixed with olive oil that also has like kind of a heavy cream taste and texture as well. But I reckon the best one is definitely coconut cream. So I've got my pan on a medium heat. I'm just gonna pour in the quarter cup of olive oil into the pan and this is my favorite olive oil. It is so beautiful and super high quality. I'm just gonna finally dice a quarter of an onion. I'm using a brown onion. And also finally dice a small clove of garlic. And then I'm going to throw the onion first in our olive oil and let that cook for about a minute or two. And then add in the garlic. Then we'll add the tomato paste, about a quarter cup. And then just let that cook until it's a bit darker in color and caramelized. And it's already smelling so good. While I let that caramelize, I'm going to start cooking the pasta shells. And you can use any pasta you like, but I'm staying true to Gigi's recipe and using some shells. And this literally cost me 99 cents from the store. Super affordable. So I'm going to let that water boil. And of course, always salt it. And for two people, I'm going to add in half the packet. So this is the part where Gigi adds in the heavy cream, but we are going to use our coconut milk or coconut cream instead, making sure that you get a good quality brand 
so that it is nice and thick and creamy. Then we are gonna add the best ingredient, which is our vodka. Now you can obviously use any brand of vodka. This is just what I have. So I add in about one or two tablespoons and then let it evaporate. So at this point, we are going to season our creamy sauce with some salt. And I love this brand and pepper and also a teaspoon of chili flakes. So if you don't like chili flakes, you can of course omit this, but I'm gonna add in a nice teaspoon, or if you like even more spice, add more than that. You do you. So now that our pasta is al dente, I'm gonna turn the heat off and drain it, reserving about a quarter cup of the pasta water. Now we're gonna put our sauce back over heat and add about a quarter cup of the pasta water. Pasta water is literally key for pasta sauce dishes. They make everything so much better and creamy. And I'm now going to add in a tablespoon of butter, but we are of course going to use a butter substitute. So this is Nettlex, which is like a vegan butter and it tastes exactly like real butter. It's so good. Or you can also use coconut oil if you like. I'm just going to get a big tablespoon of that and put that in there. And now that that's beautifully thickened, we can take it off the heat and stir through our pasta. Hey guys, and welcome to Amy. Wait, what do you say? <laughs> oh, that do I look good? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> cute! Yeah, stop it. So cute. Okay, so guys, I've got my vegan friend Mitch here, hardcore vegan, only eats vegan food, so he's gonna tell us what he thinks of this recipe and if it passes the test. Good, Amy, how's it going? <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna be, give us a savage review. Yeah, actually, actually. I'm, I'm pretty honest, so. Yes, yeah, savage. Savage, honest, I've cried a couple times. <laughs> Let's yes. do it. Get ready. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers mm. onto something. Can you cook this for me like every night? It's got like a, it's almost like a spicy vodka. So that's like giving it that extra kick. Yeah. Oh, love me some vodka. You could just leave me with this pasta, yeah? Yeah. Like the whole, the whole pan? Yeah. Yeah, good. So that's the agreement for me to feature in this video. It's wow. actually so nice, so. Ooh. I don't, I hate putting things on for videos, so. But I genuinely do like this a lot. I'm almost too honest, really. Mm. Yeah. That's what I love about you. I can't put things on for camera. I, I, I hate when if people on camera are like, oh my god, this is so good. So thank you so much for watching this recipe. I really hope you try it at home. It is so delicious and creamy, and it also is super presentable if you're having a dinner with your family and friends. They'll be really impressed because it is so pretty, especially with like fresh herbs on top. So if you did like this recipe, please do make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe below. I will put out new recipes every single week for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And do let me know if you try this recipe in the comments below and tag me in your creations. I will put my Instagram handle here so I can see it and also share the love. That's like one of my favorite things to do. Until I see you next time, I hope you stay really safe and well and I will see you again soon.